Hey, it's FYF Sports Menace Lamont. We are back with another reaction video, and we got a good one for you guys today. Um, we got to address it, man. The Kareem Abdul Jabbar response. Uh, Kareem Abdul Jabbar calls LeBron James stupid, childish, and says LeBron will never be the GOAT. Again, it's just, again, you have another NBA legend coming out attacking LeBron James. Saying that he cannot, will not be the GOAT. But this time it's for something that's non-basketball related. This is an off the court issue. Um, well, not off the court. It's something that happened on the court. But it's not about skills. It's not about accolades. It's not about championships. It's about minute actions. Um, is this an overreaction? Is Kareem Abdul-Jabbar justifies in what he said? We saw him come out and say his piece on... Uh, COVID-19 vaccinations, right? He attacked Kyrie Irving. A lot of people said he lost the credibility. Let's see if the, even the LeBron James haters, let's see if they are able to keep similar energy um, in this Kareem Abdul-Jabbar take or will they revert back to agreeing with somebody simply because they hate the man LeBron James. We're gonna go ahead and get to the reaction video right now. Before we get started, make sure you guys smash the like, hit the subscribe button, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, man. We gotta blow up those platforms as well. Um, a lot of people have been saying they're not getting the notifications. No excuse, man. I don't really care if YouTube's pushing these notifications. We send out our own notifications on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. So as long as you're following us there, you're gonna be up to date on everything that we drop. Let's go ahead and get to the reaction video. Kareem Abdul's Jabbar's response to LeBron James. In other news, LeBron James faced a double whammy this past couple of weeks with his first ever suspension after his elbow clipped Detroit's Piston Center, Isaiah Stewart. Stewart's attempted retaliation cost him a two game suspension. Then last week, LeBron was fined $15,000 for doing a big ball stance after the Lakers win over the Pistons. The NBA has been fining players between $15,000 and $25,000 for doing this dance since the 2010-2011 season. For me, winning is enough. Why do you need to do a stupid childish dance and disrespect the other team on the court? It doesn't make sense. Goats don't dance. LeBron. All right, so we got Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, his take throwing shots and shade at LeBron James for doing the big balls dance. Obviously, the NBA did not take a liking to that particular dance. They have in the past find other players and like such also find LeBron James for doing the same thing. Um, but now we see a new connection. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, who's now chiming in. Um, this is one of the first times we've heard him chime in on the GOAT conversation. He is claiming now that LeBron James cannot be the GOAT because GOATs don't dance. And so... I look at Kareem's take, I kind of understand where he's coming from. Look, the antics, okay, if you're not a fan of the antics, that's fine. But Kareem, you have to understand you were part of the era of basketball that got boring and almost became a bankrupt league. It took Magic Johnson and Larry Bird getting drafted in the same year to save the NBA. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, you, as for as good as you were, for as good as Bill Russell was, for as good as Wilt Chamberlain was, you guys were boring to watch. There was no excitement. There were no antics. There was no taunts. That's some of the things, that's in all sports. These are some of the things that make sports great. All right, in baseball, after the home run, you have the bat flip. Disrespectful, yes. But the fans love it, yes. Does it sell tickets? Yes. Football. Touchdown celebrations. Do we love it? Yes. T.O. and all of the great wide receivers. Curious to see what they're going to do when they get into the end zone. Remember, I remember we had the Skittles. Seahawks running back throwing the Skittles in the air. Ends up getting an endorsement from Skittles. These are the things that make sports entertaining. And... You can call what LeBron James did whatever you want. 
it doesn't bother me because at the end of the day, it's on the other team to stop you from even getting to the point where you can do a dance on them. So Kareem Abdul-Jabbar again, your era of basketball started to get boring. That's not me saying it. That's not me looking at the game saying it was boring. Your own fans of your own era stopped watching, stopped going to games, and attendance started to go down. The TV numbers started to plummet. And it took Magic Johnson and Larry Bird to bring the excitement back to the game. And what did both of those guys do? They both showboated. Larry Bird with the taunts to other players. Magic Johnson with the showtime plays. Embarrassing guys. Showing up guys. Though that brought the entertainment factor back into the game. Right? I didn't didn't we all love it? We can probably even though when, when Scottie Pippen dunked over Patrick Ewing, athletically it probably wasn't the greatest dunk of all time. But one thing that made that dunk so great is Pippen pushing him down to the ground, stepping over him. When Allison Iverson hit the shot over Tyron Lou, okay, the shot was great, but it was what he did after the fact, stepping over the man, disrespecting him, that made that one of the most historic shots of all time. Sean Kemp, yes, he dunked on a lot of people, but look at what he did after the fact with the pointing, you know, with the with the jokes, with the jesting afterwards, the entertainment value, adding that to the game. So you can not like what LeBron James did. You can complain and cry about it. But ultimately, these are some of the things that helped save the NBA, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And again, with the old narrative, this old adage, remember, this is, I, I feel like the, this, this sentiment that Kareem Abdul-Jabbar has, I think that's also hurt the game of football. When Roger Goodell put out, put restrictions on touchdown celebrations, it made the game more boring. It actually pushed casual fans like me away from the game. So let's not listen to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and push the casual basketball fans away from this game because you want to see just strictly pure basketball. That pure, strictly pure basketball is not entertaining. If you want to see strictly pure basketball, go watch the WNBA. You have a lot of it over there. But you're also watching a felon league, a league that's probably going to go bankrupt soon and a league that's operating uh, you know, in the negative right now as we speak. And the highest paid player, Liz Cambage, is only making 200000 a year. That's what pure basketball gets you. It gets you zero dollars. It gets you zero entertainment value. And the fans ultimately will not watch or won't pay to see that particular product. That's just my particular take. You guys, let me know your thoughts on it. Is Kareem Abdul-Jabbar correct in his take? You know, is he right? Is he? Do you feel he's just jumping on the bash LeBron James bandwagon, or is he making a point? Uh, again, I don't feel like this is something um, where you can jump on LeBron James. You can like the celebration or not. You know what? The best way to stop people from celebrating is to actually beat them. LeBron James doesn't do that dance if Detroit is up winning a game. So how about these other teams? How about y'all go start winning games and you stop guys like LeBron James from dancing and celebrating on you? Just like most teams in the league have done this year. They ran right through the Lakers, and we don't see the Lakers dancing. OKC didn't want LeBron James dancing on them. OKC went out there and took care of business. The Clippers didn't want LeBron James dancing on them, so the Clippers went out there and took, if you take care of your business, then you don't have to worry about that. So I don't like the crybaby cry baby mentality approach that Kareem Abdul-Jabbar has. Um, where, oh, it's all, it's all, you know, it's all equal and it's all fun and it's all joy. No, I want you guys to taunt each other. I I, I like the, the level of competition. I like guys going at each other. You know, I like that because it gives the other team an additional edge when we see them match up. All right. So again, Kareem, great basketball player. Your league was boring to watch. You got, you, you know, you guys in the 70s almost cost the NBA its existence because of the boring style of play. But that's just my take. It's FYF Sports Man. It's been another great reaction video. We're going to be coming back to you guys with more reactions pretty soon here. Let me guys, let, let you guys, let me know what you think about this particular topic right here, LeBron James. Should he be dancing on people? Obviously, with them having a below 500 right, record right now, they probably don't have room to be dancing on anybody right now. So he's going to receive a level of criticism simply for that alone. But this happens all through the NBA. There's so many young players in this league who do the same things. 
is it a detriment to the league you guys let me know in the comments um when we go live also that's your opportunity to come up to the live panel address your concerns let us know your thoughts on all of these topics that we have here on fyf sports but it's fyf sports man another great reaction video we're gonna be back with more sports news but until then it's fyf sports and we out